I've got two bits of news. Maybe not major news. You probably already know this. Let's go with the happier stuff. Right now, if you go to HumbleBundle.com, the Humble Bundle is selling a Capcom bundle. So I don't know. Maybe if you like Strider, Resident Evil, or Lost Planet 3, you can get all of these games for seven, eight dollars. Uh, Devil May Cry, Resident Evil Revelations, Revelations, sorry, Resident Evil 5. Oh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. If you don't have it, eh, it's like 15 bucks for all of these. I mean, even if you bought them and then flipped them for a profit, you'd totally be like uh, in a hot spot. Like, you know, maybe you had a friend who didn't have. Street Fighter, you could sell them this version for 15 bucks or something. Is that illegal? I don't think so. You could just keep the Steam keys and sell them to somebody else if you already have the games. Who knows? You know, listen, I'm a scammer, I'm a flim flammer, I'm a gambler, you know, I'm a lover, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. You know how I live my life, and you can do it too, because we're just, I don't know, hustle, baby, hustle. Let's just get on with the news. Right now, for the sad news. From RS Technica, the latest NVIDIA drivers to be locked behind GeForce Experience. What does this mean for us who have NVIDIA cards? Well, it means you have to use GeForce Experience to use game-ready drivers. So let's say uh, it's happening in December, but we'll use this as a reference anyway. Fallout, big game. Everybody wants it. You know, I'm surprised how popular Fallout got. Well, anyway, let's say this was in place before Fallout came out and you didn't like GeForce Experience. Well, in order to have the game-ready drivers, you have to have GeForce Experience to download it. Me, personally, I find GeForce Experience hit or miss. I really do. Like, I used to try downloading my drivers through GeForce Experience, but I always ran into some sort of problems. So, I just did manual installs. Screw the hassle. And plus, the manual install, I can pick and choose what the fuck I want. None of this extra BS. But, that's going out the window. And for some of us, frankly, you have to do a clean install of drivers anyway because for some reason it's just fuckery at times, especially with Windows 10. But whatever. Let's move on. The decades-old process of searching out graphics drivers on the web will be somewhat limited for NVIDIA cards come December. That's when the company will begin pushing out its regular game-ready driver updates exclusively through the GeForce Experience app and will begin requiring users to register an account to get them. Oh, really? That sucks. I want to register shit. That's invasive. I've already paid you a ass ton of money for a fucking 980 Ti liquid cooled, you dicks. NVIDIA will still release quarterly driver updates via the web and through the OS level windows update feature but the game ready drivers which have included optimization for every big name game released in the past years will soon only be available to people who have signed up for the GeForce Experience with an account tied to their email address. GeForce Experience app currently has no such login requirements. Yeah I don't use it and it annoys the fuck out of me. Well what does this all really mean? I mean, let's cut all the reading bullcrap. I mean, you know how to use links and read. You probably read better than I do, knowing my luck. I'm so stupid. But really, this is what happens when a company owns most of the market. What is it? NVIDIA has like, what, 70% of the gaming market versus uh, AMD's 30 or 40%? And it's not like AMD's putting up much of a fight recently. Like, people keep leaving the company or quitting. I know I don't have much of a choice, especially if I want to use game-ready drivers for games. I mean, I already use Shadowplay. I think it's great. It works very well. I also find that the interface for GeForce Experience is better for Twitch than OBS or some garbage like that. And now they have a YouTube function, and they don't limit you to anything. I could do 1080p, 60 frames per second gaming, where OBS limits me to, like what 30 at 720 with a watermark from those dick mongers and then they keep getting up those little ads like hey hey do you like it you like it you, you, you like it how, uh, how about you pay us eight thousand a month for this piece of shit and it's like you could eat my fucking ass i don't really scream that much i said scream instead of stream oh well i feel like screaming maybe that's like a freudian slip oh well what are we gonna do people i mean let's just hope the amd's next generation of uh what are these, Fiji cards, uh, really steps up the game. Well, DirectX 12 is around the corner, and that seems to really favor the AMD architecture. But, but, NVIDIA's Pascal is coming out, or Pastel, whatever you want to call it, and that's looking like it might be pretty intense, unless they use GDDR5X memory, which probably won't really kick the ass of HBM, that's for sure, but will it be that much better than regular GDDR5? Who knows? Who cares? All I know is it's a lot of money, and I don't plan on upgrading for another while. So, listen, I'm off the wall. 
Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hell, you don't have to comment. You don't have to subscribe. You don't even have to fucking rate. I am liberal as shit. Just force me down the throats of other people and you've done me a solid. That's all I gotta say.